Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia, aka The Spiritual Goth, and um, it's 11-11. It is November 11th, and it's my day off. It's uh, Veterans Day, which is a great day for 11-11 to fall on, and I thought I had time to clean my space and also make a video. Um, so let me first tell you about the significance of 1111. By the way, um, if you're new here, please subscribe. My goal is to raise my YouTube subscribers. And because this video is about manifesting, I am manifesting this. This is something that I'm manifesting and that you can help me with. Uh, my video is all about tarot and spirituality. I just have so many exciting things coming up. Like, I'm actually, like, slowly transitioning out of tarot into just channeling, um, which I love. Like, being able to tap into someone else's energy, tap into their higher self, and give them messages without the use of tarot. Because what tarot really is, it's just a way to focus my energy and i'm reading the cards and and i'm focusing on the on the picture on the messages but if you really tap into it you can do all that channeling without cards so that doesn't mean i'm going to stop doing tarot i love it but i'm saying that i'm going to add an extra element to my uh, readings which i'm really excited for so there'll be a lot of channeled messages a lot of tarot a lot of um Talking about my own spirituality, talking about your spirituality journey. I'll talk about books that have helped me through my spiritual uh, journey. I think it'd be really cool to do like a like a series on some of the books that have helped me, um, and I can relay those messages and help you guys too. Um, so yeah, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Help me reach my goal. Um, okay, so yes, this video is all about manifesting um, money. And you can really manifest anything using the methods that I used, but I want to talk about how I manifested $1,000 in one day. Um, I actually made $2,000 in two days, which was like insane. Um, but first, let's do an angel oracle card because 1111, that's what I was saying. 1111 is um, an angel number, and it, what it means is you're headed in the right direction, the angels are with you, they are guiding you, you have divine guidance around you. Um, so today, since it is uh, uh, November 11th, it's a day that the angel realm is even more open to us. So this morning at 1111, I, um, at the time, I actually meditated and I asked the angels, which ones am I, wh which angels do I work with the most? There are a lot of angels out there. Um, and I got Archangel Ezekiel and Archangel Michael. I actually call on Archangel Michael quite a bit. Um, Archangel Michael is like all about like protection. He's, he is the, the angel of protection. And I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to look up Archangel Ezekiel, so. I'm gonna do that. Oh, oh, see, this makes so much sense. Archangel Ezekiel is the angel of death and transformation. And I think that's like what I focus on the most. I focus on um, making my bad habits or previous patterns that don't work for me die so that I can be reborn and birth new positive habits. Um, and through my tarot, I think death is what I focus on the most, kind of allowing other people to tap into their, to their subconscious and, and allowing old patterns from them to die because after death comes transformation, rebirth. Even when we die, we are reborn and we transform um, and we make soul contracts and we go off and, and start our new lives, whether that is something that is another life on earth as a human or the possibilities are really endless um so yeah 
I meditated and I got those answers and I want to know what the angel answers deck, this amazing deck has for you today. So I'm going to ask um, a question of when will financial stability, what, what does financial stability look like for you? When will it actually be, um, be, when will you actually be in a place financially that you're content and happy? And some of you might already be, but when will you be living in abundance? That's, that's my question. When will my viewers be living in abundance? I've been doing a lot of readings on Instagram with these cards, so there's a lot of energy on them. In the near future. I feel like this card is saying that when you really, talking about manifesting, put your mind to it and think that you are living in abundance you will start to live in abundance. It's all about mindset. It's all about like the way that you view the things that you already have. So if you come into um, this, if, if you come into things with the mindset of I'm lacking, I don't have enough, or I don't trust myself or the universe to provide, then that's what you're going to be manifesting. So in the near future. So as long as you work on your negative self-talk, the things that um, cause you to doubt yourself and the universe, then once you change those things and you'll start to see that thing, um, a lot of growth and prosperity will come into fruition. I think uh, it's just all about, it's all, it's all about your vibes. It's all about your vibrations. So let's talk about how I manifested $1,000 in one day, um, or $2,000 in two days, however you want to look at it. Um, I'm going to use a lot of words in this video that I don't normally use because these words carry vibrations, every word that we use. And so when you are discussing words that, um, you might have a negative vibration. That's kind of what you're putting out there. So I'm going to set an intention right now. My intention is to help others on their path to uh, material wellness and prosperity. And with that intention being set, I will use some words like debt and uh, like, I don't know, just words like yeah, see, like, it's weird because, like, these words have been, like, so far out of my vocabulary that, like, it's hard for me to even think about them. But, like, debt is a really big one. Um, it's not really, a, it's not a great word with the positive vibrations because debt, it, it has this connotation of, or this feeling with it that, um, you're lacking something or that you were lacking something and now you owe something to someone else because you were lacking and that's not the vibration that you want to have. Um, but anyway, I have, like I I've said this before, but I'm on my third master's degree and, uh, growing up, I didn't have like the best, we didn't have the best financial, um, situation. We were homeless quite a bit. Um, and in being, homeless it kind of, it I never really learned how to properly maintain uh, my finances I didn't really get that help growing up so I feel that as an adult in my tw my early 20s is 26 still here no I'm in my late 20s I don't know I'm in my mid-20s I'm 26 um <laughs> but in my in my early 20s um I I messed up like I just I was living off of my credit cards because I was in a master's program at USC and I was working full time as a student teacher. Um, and when I was working full time, I just lived off of credit cards for like a year and a half. Um, and it just it wasn't the, the smartest move. I started to think that I was working so hard that I deserved more than I could 
actually pay for. So I'm still paying all of that and I'm still in like thousands of, of, uh, of debt. Um, thousands of dollars of debt that I need to pay off. And prior to this entire spiritual um, awakening that I've had only a couple months ago, it's five months by now, um, I was constantly living in the vibration of, I need more. I don't have m like more. I am uh, suffering, right? I'm suffering. Money was always on my mind. How am I going? Like, Okay, I'm paying, I make enough money as a teacher, I make pretty good money, but my entire paycheck goes to these bills that I need to pay. Um, so I'm constantly like, how am I going to have money for food? What if I want to go out to dinner with my friends? What if I want to do fun stuff? Like my friend group, we are people who like to party, we like to go out, we like to go to raves, we like to go on trips, like that's like, just like what I, I like to do. I'm a very adventurous, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius sun, an Aries moon, and a Sagittarius rising. And I have a lot of other Sagittarius, Sagittarius in my chart. I am someone who likes to have fun. Um, so there was this like, this issue with, of like, I work so hard. I'm, I'm in school. I'm always working at least two jobs. Um, I deserve so much. So I'm always spending above my means to kind of like, ugh trying to figure, like, compensate, I guess. Um, I'm, I don't know. And I think that very much was a derivative of my childhood, like not having uh, the access to money. And as an adult, you have so much access to money. It's actually like, it's not very, um, it's not great how much access you have to money. Because I think a lot of those lenders, they kind of feed on people like me who did not learn uh, how to handle my finances at a young age. Um, so before my awakening, I was just always worried about money. Like my friends would ask me, how am I doing? And I'd be like, oh, like, I just like, things are so hard right now. I don't even know how I'm going to like survive this month. I have like $300 for the month after paying all of my stuff off. And, um, and then at the same time, I'm like buying so much stuff because not only do I have to deal with um, not having good financial uh, awareness? I'm also dealing with mental illness. Like, don't forget that I suffer from bipolar disorder. So when I was on my highs and unmedicated, I was spending a lot of money. And then when I was in my lows, like spending made me feel better. So um, yeah, it was just a really, really horrible like um, cycle. And so, so, the beginning of my awakening, I um, I started watching Gem Goddess, who I talk about all the time, because I love her. Her videos are just so amazing. Um, and she actually talks a lot about manifesting. She is a manifesting queen. And I had heard of the Law of, Attrac law of Attraction before, but I was like, what is this? Does it even work? It's not, it was like when The Secret came out, I was super interested in it, but I was like, it It also just sounds like a gimmick or like a, I don't know, like a cult. <laughs> People just like believing in some weird stuff. I didn't really know what it was. So I started watching her videos and um, I started to get in a high vibration um, pretty quickly. And what I mean by that is we all have, uh, there's a vibrational scale and the universe is on a, the universe is everything. It's, it's a light, it's source. It's like, it's, there's such a high vibrational, um, the vibration of the universe is off the charts. And what you want to do is you want to try to elevate your vibrations to be on a consistent level with the universe. Obviously like it's, you're not going to be like in an, uh, super high vibrational state at all times it's possible but um the point is to raise your vibration so that you can receive gifts from the universe and that's really what the law of attraction is it's raising your vibration so that you can become in a state of just pure bliss and happiness and when you are in that state you are no longer 
thinking about the things that you do not have, right? So at the beginning of my awakening, if you watched my last video, you already know, I started working on uh, negative behavior patterns. I started working on um, should statements. That's really important. Like saying, um, I shouldn't do this, or I shouldn't be eating this, or I should be like doing this, you know? I started working on that and I started working on like just filtering uh, my thoughts inside inwardly. Um, my therapist is like the most amazing human being ever. Um, and he just, he taught me about like cognitive distortions and like things that we tell ourselves in our head um, on a constant basis. And you don't realize just how much negative things you feed to yourself on a weekly basis. Even people who are like super happy and they're like, I love myself. Like when you really start to notice the things that you tell yourself, it's insane. Um, and in fact, like, let me just like read through some of these um, cognitive distortions. I, I'm i working on, I'm working with some uh, clients right now and we're kind of going through this stuff. Um, so it's just like fresh on my mind. But like, look, so cognitive distortions, there's all or nothing thinking. You look at things in absolute black and white categories over generalization, you view a negative event as a never ending pattern of defeat, mental filter, you dwell on the negatives and ignore the positives, discounting the positives, you insist that your accomplishments or positive qualities don't count, don't count. And that was me. Oh my gosh. Like, I would always tell people like, yeah, I have like two master's degrees, but that's just because I'm crazy. And I do that when I'm manic. Instead of being like, I did this and I accomplished this and I'm so grateful and so proud. I would always discount my ac accomplishments and I'm like, oh, but they don't really count. And people are like, oh, you're so smart. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not that smart. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm just really good writer. Um, so stuff like that. Jumping to conclusions. So like mind reading or fortune telling, thinking that you're predicting that things are always going to turn out badly. I'm always like expecting the worst, like glass half empty kind of thing. Um, magnification or minimization, blowing things way out of proportion or shrinking their importance inappropriately. Um, I definitely was shrinking the importance of things. Um, and maybe even blowing like things out of proportion, like, um, like when it came to just like my emotions, like I thought that I was the most logical person ever, but in therapy and going through these cognitive distortions list, I realized like I come from an emotional place a lot of the time. At least I I, can't, I did um, because I've changed like so much of this. There's emotional reasoning. You reason how you feel. I feel like an idiot, so I really must be one. Or I don't feel like doing this, so I put it off. That was me. I don't feel like doing this, so I put it off. A lot of things are like, I feel, I don't feel. Emotional reasoning. Should statements. You criticize yourself or other people with shoulds or shouldn'ts, musts, oughts, have tos are similar offenders. Um, I'm still catching those. Labeling. You identify with your shortcomings. Instead of saying, I made a mistake, you tell yourself, I'm a jerk or a fool or a loser. That's not having a growth mindset. Um, I teach growth mindset to my students every year, and I think that helped me too. So if you're like interested in exploring this stuff, I would look into a uh, growth mindset. And then personalization and blame. You blame yourself for something you weren't entirely responsible for, or blame other people and overlook ways that your own attitudes and behaviors might contribute to a problem. So when it comes to money, bringing this back to finances, um, a lot of times when we do have debt, we just like blame ourselves. But we have to kind of like, uh, realize that we were in a different place then. We were in a different emotional state. We were in a different mental state. And now in our improved and more mature emotional state, we can deal with those issues. But we shouldn't blame ourselves entirely for this, for what happened. Because there's so many circumstances in life that cause um, a lot, like that cause debt. And, and what can you do? It's, it happened. So now it's like, all right, this happened. I am, I'm, I'm working on it. And, and that's just what's really important. Um, so I started working on the cognitive distortions and I was just like, 
Um, wow, I tell myself so much negative things every week, especially when it comes to money, every single day, actually. Um, so when I started to acknowledge that, then I started to live in a higher vibrational state of being. And once I got into that higher vibrational state, um, I started to manifest. I started to write down the things that I wanted. And I was like, I, I probably had like $50 in my bank account. And this was like in June. And I, I was like, I'm going to make, oh no, I was just writing down in my journal. Like, I am so grateful. I just made hundreds of dollars in one day using tarot. Um, and right before like this, like a, a week before this, um, my favorite podcast, Guys We Fucked, with Christina Hutchinson and Corinne Fisher, they were doing this thing where they were promoting black businesses. And I was like, you know what? Like, I just started doing tarot, but I'm confident enough in the fact that like, I'm going to make this a business. And that was also manifesting, just like, I'm going to do this. Um, I barely had a website, it was hardly up. Um, I, I was getting, I don't know how I was getting clients before. Oh, I was getting clients before through like, Facebook and putting things on like Craigslist and whatnot. So I was, um, I was getting some clients in and, uh, one day I woke up like a couple days after starting to write down, um, I am so grateful that I have an abundance of cash flow coming in. And I just started to believe it. I started to live in that vibration of like, this is happening. I started doing m morning affirmations. So I would literally look on YouTube and I would just write, I would just, uh, look up like, five minute uh, morning affirmations and you wake up in the morning and that's what well, as you're like getting ready or like uh, brushing your teeth like that's what you do you put that video on and uh, you start to you start to like believe in yourself and change the subconscious thoughts that are there because our subconscious is really what's like weighing us down and we start to kind of um, like all of those negative thoughts that we've told ourselves our entire life they're just resting in our subconscious and in order to rewrite them you you have to like um on a on a subconscious get, dig into your subconscious and you can do that very easily with uh, morning affirmations or listening to affirmations as you go to sleep so that's stuff like i am a money attractor i have i am so um <laughs> smart i am so wise i am a vessel for positive change just telling yourself really positive things sorry i know i'm jumping everywhere but i, I always try to get back to my point because it's like a lot so yeah so then i was just like i listening to morning affirmations um and one morning i woke up and i was really sick this morning i don't know i like i was I ate something really like bad or i don't know the day before um because i have a lot of digestive issues and i was like throwing up and i woke up and i just had ton of followers on instagram and i was like what is this this is so weird i got like i probably got like a thousand followers overnight and then i got a hundred messages in my inbox and this is after like writing in my journal every day pretending that i already have like so much money um also working with like the moon so there was there just so happened to be a new moon around that period. So I wrote down in my journal, like, I'm so glad that I got all of this, blah, blah, blah. And then this woman gave me crystals, like for free. She was just like, here, you can take these for your business. And in the bag, there was, um, there was green aventrine, which is uh, a crystal for money and prosperity. And then there was also incense that said cash collar. And I was like, what? It's so weird. So this is right before um, they they broadcasted my ad for my business on Guys We Fucked. Um, it was so weird. So I had the new moon um, manifestation going with uh, writing in my journal, putting the green aventurine out there, lighting the um, incense for cash, call, cash collar, I think it's called, or cash calling. Um, and then living in that vibration and actually doing this like a uh, 
Manifest Your Dream Reality video every single night before I went to sleep by Jim Goddess. I'll put that in the bio where she she has you like imagine that you're getting this and and uh and really just like believing it and it's like it's a meditation thing you do like right before bed. Um so I did all of that, okay? And then I woke up and I got I saw that and every single person who messaged me wanted to get a full reading from me. And at the time, yeah, the full readings were uh, were $100. So I actually made over $1,000 in, in that first day. Um, and there were that was like all through Venmo. So it was just amazing. I was like, I can't believe the timing of all of this. And I can't believe that I actually did it. And then the next day, another a uh, little over a thousand dollars and then that week it was just consistent consistent consistently um people were booking with me and that at that time i was doing email only readings i wasn't super confident um i was confident but i wasn't like i felt like i wasn't ready to fit it into my schedule like um live readings or whatever so i started i was doing a ton of email readings um and it was just insane like i cannot believe that i manifested that and every month it's just like been consistent so consistent for me like last month i made two thousand five hundred dollars um with my tarot um and that's like on top of my paycheck so my paycheck goes all to like my bills that I need to pay and then I've been really just lucky to have some extra cash flow and, and trying to like I'm trying to pay off that so much faster so that I could be in just like a place where I want to like get my own apartment right now I'm very lucky my co-workers out in Nebraska um so I'm living at his apartment and I'm living in his one bedroom and living here I'm just like this is what I want so I am going to manifest like having my own like one bedroom apartment I live, my, my place is amazing. I live in a house with my best friend and um, my room is like kind of detached. It's the garage, it's huge. Um, so I, I live in a good spot now, but I really want to like manifest uh, a one bedroom apartment by the beach, like, or on the beach, like close to the beach. That's what I want. Um, so I'm just gonna continue to manifest. And, and, and really there are just so many things that you could be doing. You can like light candles with the intention of, of manifesting. But the thing is that you can't manifest unless you get rid of all the negative thoughts, all of the things that are weighing you down, even in your subconscious, you have to pay so much full attention to see if what you are doing is drawing a uh, negativity towards yourself, like if I keep telling myself I need money, then that the universe is going to take that as, oh, you don't trust me. <laughs> um, and you, you need this. We know that, the, so like my spiritual team's like, we know that you need this. But once you just let go and just believe that things are going to happen for you, that's when things will start happening. If you come into, the whole come into your finances with the with the belief or the mindset that you don't have um what you need and you are are lacking in any way and not believing that you are a full individual a beautiful soul who is not lacking in any way um then that's what you manifest back to yourself so um let me just break down some uh, some steps for manifesting or some things that have worked for me um and i'm just gonna it's kind of like a recap this this video is not planned i was just like i have some time today so um let me just make this video super quickly so hopefully I, it's not like too everywhere for you but let me just like put it in a better terms for you step one figure out what your negative thoughts are and Correct them, change them, work on them, acknowledge them, spin them around. Two, figure out what your money blocks are. There are so many money blocks that a person can have. And this can be because of your childhood. Like I had the belief that I needed, I, I couldn't have, I didn't want to be restricted 
um, because of my childhood and I was so restricted as a child. So I had a money block from receiving money because I was my, my entire, um, belief about money was skewed. It was so, it was just not good. Um, so yeah, one, figure out what your self-talk is. Two, find your money blocks. There are a lot of articles on money blocks, I'm sure. So look it up for like an in-depth, uh, understanding of what type of money blocks you can have. You can even do EFT tapping for your money blocks. Like, I don't deserve money. You tap that into your hand. Um, so it would be something like this. Let, let me just teach you a super quick EFT tapping method for money blocks. Um, you can tell this video isn't planned, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's helpful, helpful information. Um, okay, so EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique, it is a way to release uh, yourself from any sort of negative, th negative ideas or, or facts or opinions or patterns that are in your head. Um, so when you're using EFT tapping, you are tapping into the meridian points of your body, the acupressure points, and you're tapping in um, the negative thought and you're telling your body that you're going to release it. And what you do is you release it. So before we start tapping, you have to say your your phrase, uh, your setup statement, and you have to rate it. How much do you feel that phrase? So my phrase that I'll use is, I am not good with money. And when I say that, I feel like six, right? So you're going to rate, rate it a zero out of ten. If it's four and higher, then like you definitely want to do some tapping on that. Um, so I'm reading it like reading it like a six, and so. Then I'm going to, uh, that's going to determine how many times I'm going to tap. And you kind of feel it out and, and uh, intuitively decide how many times to tap in your statements, maybe like four or more times. There are so many different setup phrases that you can do for money blocks. What a setup phrase is, you're setting up your body to respond to the fact that you are going to release something. Okay, that you're ready to release an idea, a belief, a thought that you have, that you once had. So let's say our setup statement is, even though I am not good with money, I deeply and completely accept myself. So let's say that's one. So you'll tap three fingers into the side of your hand, telling your body that you're ready to release the statement. Even though I'm not good with money, I deeply and completely accept myself three fingers in these meridian points and now you're going to use your a reminder phrase you're only tapping in the negative statement i am not good with money 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 Chin, I am not good with money. Collarbone, I am not good with money. Under your arms where your bra strap is, if you're a girl, or just under your arms for a boy, I am not good with money. Back to the top of the head, I am not good with money. Side of the eye, I am not good with money. Underneath the eye, I am not good with money. Under the nose, I am not good with money. Chin, I am not good with money. Collarbone, I am not good with money. Underneath the arm, I am not good with money. Top of the head, I am not good with money. And you'll do that for as many times as you rated it. Like if you rated this a four or above, you're going to want to do this like four times at least until it feels right. You'll know intuitively, like you will know when to stop tapping in the negative statement. And then you want to tap into the tap in the full phrase, the positive, the entire thing. Um, but let me read it again. So we just did that. Uh, now, like I want to rate it like a, Four. Okay, let's rate it to four. So we're going to tap in the positive. 
the entire statement. Even though I'm not good with money, I truly and deeply love and accept myself. Even though I am not good with money, I truly and completely deeply accept myself. Even though I am not good with money, I truly, completely, and deeply accept myself. Even though I am not good with money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I am not good with money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I am not good with money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I am not good with money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I am not good with money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I was not raised to know about money, I truly and deeply accept myself. You can change it, switch up the phrase as long as it like fits. Even though I was not raised to know how to properly handle money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I feel I was not raised to know about money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I feel like I wasn't raised to know about money, how to manage money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I was raised to, I was not raised to truly uh, know how to handle money, I truly and deeply accept myself. Even though I was not raised to know how to handle money, I truly and deeply accept myself. So you take a deep breath and you rate that again. I feel like I'm gonna rate it too. And that's how you do um, EFT tapping for money blocks. So um, there are a ton of free, I'm sure there's a lot of material, there are a lot of materials online. If you just look up like EFT for money blocks, you can find a statement that really suits you and do this every day. And then what you're doing is you are releasing so much you're releasing negative thought patterns, behaviors, blah, blah, blah. And then you're, as soon as you're done with the EFT tapping, you are raising your vibrations. And then you're able to manifest, manifest more. So back to my uh, steps. Step one, recognize your negative thoughts and uh, the way that you view yourself. And uh, this affects this directly affects how you receive uh, things. And then two, recognize your money blocks, um, any patterns or beliefs, that, old beliefs that you might have about money. Step three, start using rituals. Because I think when you actually like uh, put uh, an action with your manifestation, then that's when you kind of like, you really start to live in that vibration. You're like, I'm actively doing something to achieve this goal. So like writing in your in a, an abundance journal, I literally went to Target and just got a journal that I use just for manifesting, for abundance. And that journal is the most positive thing I've ever worked on. I am so grateful. Thank you, universe. I just um, had 10, 10 new customers this week, you know, stuff like that. Um, so start journaling and uh, having a manifestation journal that's a that's a ritual a ritual is just something that you do right on a regular basis you can do journaling you can start working with the moon on a new moon you that's like your time to manifest whatever it is that you want uh to do but you also like when it when you want to when you manifest at the same time you want to let go of past things so it's always a process you're constantly trying to let go of uh, things that might be stopping you from receiving your manifestations yeah lots and lots of material online on the interweb about manifesting using the moon so look into that and another i think this kind of goes with rituals like keeping crystals like on you that have a lot to do with manifesting so um keeping green aventrine is a really good one that's how you manifest abundance there are other crystals out there too but green aventrine i think works really well and so keeping that like around you while you're while you are trying to manifest this is a really good thing support color magic is real guys if you didn't realize i'm sure you did obviously my hair was green for the last few months because that's what i was working on manifesting when you keep colors around you 
that match um, certain word vibrations or chakra colors, then that is like what you're you're manifesting it using a by keeping these these things around you, you're manifesting that item that you want. Does that make sense? So if you keep green around you, obviously green represents money. It represents an abundance and prosperity and wellness. So I had green hair. I had green nails. I have green uh, candles around. And some of the candles, they actually say like money candles or like abundance. Um, I kept green around me all the time. Now my hair is purple because I'm trying to raise my intuition and I, I told you get more into channeling because purple is the color of your crown and third eye chakra. Um, this is the color of psychic abilities, of, uh, sorry, intuition, all that. So I have started doing this thing where I'm just, whatever I'm trying to manifest, I keep those colors around me that are related to the thing that I want to manifest. And that, there's some magic in that. Um, and I think that also has to do with like, I'm putting an action with the thing that I want to do. So that's why it's like coming to fruition. It's happening for me. So step one, negative thoughts, identify them, try to fix them. Two, figure out what your money blocks are. Three, begin some rituals for prosperity and abundance. Four, keep the color green around you. And set an intention, again, set an intention. Know that what you are doing is to create prosperity. And let's see what else. Five, just stay high vibe. Make sure that you're keeping high vibrational people around you. So people who are on the same level as you, who wanna grow and who are like, just like they're positive. And then keep positive foods around you, high vibrational foods. You want to stay in a high vibrational state of mind. Pay attention to the words that you use. A lot of words carry negative vibrations. So that keeps you in a lower vibrational state. And yeah, just stuff like that. There's so many things that you can do. Like this whole spiritual experience. What is spirituality really? Spirituality, I, th I think I heard on the podcast, spiritual shit, like a guy said, Spirituality is really just loving yourself. And I was like, yeah, that's right. All spirituality is, is teaching you to be an introspective person and love yourself wholly and completely and know that you are here as a citizen of the world and of the universe and you are here for a reason. And what spirituality does is it aligns you with your purpose. And it just, it, it puts you in a state of being where you're able to just appreciate life fully like without the idea that like like things don't have to suck that's just it something that I, I I keep thinking and saying to only my close friends because like they I feel like they tr they understand where I'm coming from being someone who's like clinically depressed and bipolar I feel like I can say this definitively happiness is a state of mind it's a choice and I know that sounds harsh to people because it's like I'm just so depressed clinically, like it's not a choice, but I think it is. I think that there's a way to just live in this, in the vibrational point of I am worthy, I am loved, I am going to attain my goals and my dreams. Doing all the work, it allows you to be content because when I was depressed, I really think a part of me didn't want to be happy because I was like, this is my natural state. Who am I if I don't tell people life sucks? Who am I? What do I, what do, I do with my life? Um, so it's really, it really is, I really think that I made the conscious to choice that finally things are going to change. I'm going to feel really uncomfortable, but I'm making the change for myself and I feel like it's time to surrender and give up and like actually try to figure out how to better myself. If you want like more information on that statement, happiness is a choice, I'm very, very willing and ready to open up a dialogue with you. I just feel that once you have all the resources that you need, you begin to realize that you can choose to be happy. Um, and I know it's a very controversial statement. Every time people have told me that in the past, I would be like, 
get out of here. Like, have you ever been depressed? It's not a freaking choice. I don't know. I feel like this video is over. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys watching this. And I am so grateful for all of you who are supporting me on my journey. It's just started, but it's just like, it's so exciting and it's so cool. And as a teacher and someone who's into spirituality, I believe that my purpose on this planet right now is to teach. And it's to teach spirituality. So with my YouTube platform, um, with the internet as a platform in general, I'm able to deliver on that um, purpose. And so please subscribe. Please like my video because it will allow other people to see me and find me. And um, if you guys have any ideas about like more videos that I can put out, I have a lot of ideas, but like if you have any suggestions, then please put that in the description box. Um, I don't know if I was looking at the camera like correctly the whole time, so I don't know. Still trying to figure out this YouTube thing. Um, yeah. Uh, lots to come from me. Thank you for watching this and I salute you for your trying to better yourself because it's not easy and once you're down this road, you won't want to look back and that is the most exciting part. So anyway, that is how I manifested $1,000 in one day or $2,000 in two days. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye.